Hello and welcome to class. I'm your teacher, Ms. Fatimit, and today I will be introducing the differences between American and Korean culture. What is culture? Is it language, customs, thoughts, manners of interacting, behaviors, food and drink, or values? If you said yes to any or all of these, then you are correct. There are many parts to culture. Today, we will look at customs, transportation, population, and cuisine of America and compare it to Korea. Let's get started. Our first topic is about custom. What does custom mean? Custom is a way of behaving or doing things. What are some Korean customs you can think of? How are those customs different in America? One that I can think of easily is when greeting someone in Korea, you bow and say, 안녕하세요. But in America, you might shake hands with someone or hug for a greeting. Another really important one is taking off your shoes at home. In Korea, you leave your shoes in front of the door, but in America, some families wear their, shoe, their outdoor shoes inside as well. Achoo! Bless you. Oh, thank you. But saying bless you and answering thank you when someone sneezes is also custom in America. What do you do when someone sneezes in Korea? Maybe you don't say anything. I know Koreans like singing at Norabongs. I guess it's custom to go outside and have a party. But in America, we like to have house parties or get-togethers. We prepare everything for the party, and when it's over, we have to clean up and toss out the trash. In Korea, there are rules about separating the trash and recycling, but in America, well, everything goes. Some people might recycle, but most just toss it all in the main trash. These days with COVID-19, space between people is very important. Well, for Americans, personal space has always been important. We like to have a little bubble around us, and if someone is too close, we feel really uncomfortable. So, if you are in America and need to line up, make sure to give the person in front of you some space. Delivery! Oh, thank you. Here's the payment, and here's for you. All right, sorry about that. I was really hungry, so I ordered some food. Did you notice that I paid with credit card and cash? What was the cash for? Hmm. Well, in America, we pay a tip to different service providers. Let's see who Americans pay a tip to. Answer yes or no for the following questions. Do we pay a tip to the food delivery man? Oh, yes, we do. Do we pay tip to the taxi driver? Yes, we do. Do we pay tip to our teacher? No, we don't. Do we pay tip to the grocery clerk? No, we don't. Do we pay tip to waiters or waitresses? Yes, we do. Do we pay a tip at the spa? Hmm, yes, we do. Do we pay a tip at the hair salon or barber shop? Hmm, oh, yes, we do. Hmm, do we pay a tip to the bartender? Mm, yes, we do. Oh, man, I'm all out of money. In America, we usually pay 15 to 20 percent of the total cost for any services received. Now that we talked about customs, here is a question to help you think further about it. How would these differences in customs affect someone traveling? Hmm.
Speaking about traveling, our second topic is transportation. What is transportation? Transportation is the act of moving people or things from one place to another. What are some methods of transportation you know? You can use a car, a bike, a taxi, a bus, subways, or you can walk. So transportation is an important part of everyday life that, and that is why it's a part of culture. Maybe you are interested in visiting America and need to know how to get around. Well, let's look at the most used methods of transportation in America and Korea. First, fill out your worksheet by ranking the transportation for each country from most used, one, to least used, six. You have five minutes.
Now, let's take a look at the answers together. In America, bus is second, subway is third, car is first, taxi is fifth, bike is fourth, and walking is sixth. Let's compare this to Korea. Bus is third, subway is fourth, car is second, taxi is fifth, bike is sixth, and walking is first. In America, 86% of the population uses their own car to get around. Only 10% use bus or subway, and even less use taxi, bike, or walking. If you ever plan to visit America, make sure to rent a car. In Korea, 72.2% of people walk, but they also use other forms of transportation like bus, subway, and car. It's interesting to see that walking is last place for America, but first place for Korea. Further thinking question, what else can you tell by looking at the ranking of transportation for the two countries? Hmm. Our third topic is population. What do you know about the population of America? Take a minute to think about it. Maybe you thought that there are many people, 329.5 million people to be exact. Or maybe you thought there are diverse people. You would be right. There are people from many different kinds of backgrounds. Let's learn some vocabulary to help us talk about diversity in the American population. Race. Race is considered to be biological and can sometimes be determined by physical appearances like skin color, hair color and texture, or even eye color. Ethnicity. Ethnicity is considered to be cultural identity and expression like language, accent, and religion amongst other things. Nationality is relationship between people and country. It's a legal attachment like citizenship. Now that we understand the differences, let's take a look at the population of America. Look at your worksheet and match the colors to the ethnic groups using the map as a guide. You have five minutes to complete the worksheet.
Let's go over the answers. Orange represents the white ethnic group. Purple, the American Indian group. Green, the Hispanic group. Blue, the African American group. Pink, the Asian group. Navy, two groups or more are tied second. And white, there is no second ethnic group. You can see that there are people of many different ethnic backgrounds in America, each person with their own individual identity. We can learn about someone's identity by asking them questions like, what is it your ethnicity? Or what is your nationality? Normally, we would not ask about someone's race because that is biological and can be offensive. Let's practice asking and answering questions about ethnicity and nationality. Hello. Hello. What's your name? My name's Zoe. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Zoe, can I ask, what's your ethnicity? Oh, I'm Filipino. Filipino. Oh, that's amazing. I am Iranian. Oh. Yeah. What about your nationality? What is your nationality? I'm from America. America. Me too. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Our last topic is cuisine. Do you know what cuisine means? Is it style of cooking, style of clothes, style of speech, or style of manners? It's style of cooking. Can you tell me what is the style of cooking in Korea? Usually it's very spicy, has rice, vegetables, and seafood, right? Now, what can you tell me about American food? American food is usually greasy, oily, and salty. Has bread, dairy products, and a lot of meat. In America, there is a large fast food culture and large portions due to, and due to this diet, it can be unhealthy. But thanks to the diversity in population, you can also find foods from different cultures. Let's take a look at some pictures and guess where they are from. These pictures are from Japanese cuisine. These are from Mexico, China, Vietnam, Taiwan, and Korea. But I didn't go to these countries to eat the food. I had all of this in Dallas, Texas, USA. Our last further thinking question is, what does the cuisine of a country tell you about the people and the country itself? So we have reached the end of our online class. I hope you learned a lot today. But first, before we say goodbye, let's review. Let's review what we learned. What do these pictures represent? Ethnicity, that's right. Now, what do these pictures represent? Hmm. Race, that's right. And finally, what do these pictures represent? Yes, that's right, nationality. And also, we talked about culture. So we said culture is complex and includes many elements like language, food, customs, and even transportation. But we also learned about customs. And customs is different because it's a way of doing something or behaving. So everybody, I hope you had a great time and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.